Hello travelers, hello again from Barcelona. Today I want to give you an update regarding rental prices in the city. So if you're new here, my name is Valerie. I live in Barcelona. So if you don't want to miss whatever is going on in this city week by week, subscribe to my channel. And if you think this information would be useful for all the travelers coming to Barcelona, like my video. And if you're planning to move to Barcelona, you better watch my previous video, Moving to Barcelona, because I think there are a lot of things you should know before for watching this video, so I'm going to leave you the link right here. Due to the lack of affordable housing in Barcelona, a new law was approved in 2020, causing all new contracts to be bound by the references of the reference price index. So what does it mean? I'm gonna make it easy for you travelers. It actually means that the rent should not exceed the limits established by the index. This is the link I've told you about. You can put it in English because the original language is Catalan. So you need to fill this form. First thing is your address. So I put a random address near my house. Then my house is 50 square meters and it needs renovation. Then I put first floor, year of construction and yeah, the energy certificate plus lift. So then it tells you how much the rent should be. So this is the lowest price found in this area and the total amount I would pay per month. This is the index, what actually should be, and then the highest price and the total amount per month. So this is the area of La Sagrada Familia inside the A Champla neighborhood where I live and I have already done a video about the A Champla neighborhood so I will leave you the link up here go ahead and check it this is another link that I found super interesting from El País newspaper this is a map that shows the prices by color so the darker the color the more expensive flats you're gonna find in this area so now that you know all of these travelers let's go ahead and check what we find when we want to rent a place in barcelona i already made a selection of the places that i could go to and the places that i couldn't go if i have just the right to barcelona so let's go ahead let's hunt the best possible place and remember if you want to know about requirements for renting in a flat in Barcelona, go back to my previous video. So here you have the two websites or applications that I use to look for flats in Barcelona. One is Idealista, you can put it in English, and the other one is Habitacria. So in both websites, you'll find all the neighborhoods inside Barcelona city center. So when you look for a flat, look inside Barcelona city, and those are the neighborhoods, because if not, you are gonna look inside whole Barcelona province. So as you can see, a Champla, the neighborhood that I did the video, is the one with more flats available, and then Ciutat Pella, which is the old city of Barcelona. So to rent a place, you need to go to rent, you need to go to home, and then you need to put Barcelona, Barcelona, which means the city center inside Barcelona province, or you can go by neighborhood as well. So I'm going to put Barcelona, Barcelona, and then I will choose the neighborhood that I want, which is the A Champla. This is where I live actually. And once we are there, inside La Sagrada Familia, inside A Champla, inside Barcelona city center, inside Barcelona province, we, of course, we opted for the rent option. We can see on the left a map of this area. Okay, so then we need to choose the property type in our case, homes, not rooms. Okay, I'm not going to choose the price because I want you to see the price, not, I, I won't choose the size as well. I will just choose a flat or apartment because this is what we will find in this part of the city with two bedroom at least, with a bathroom, of course, equipment, um, with equipment furnished, whatever I put in different. But the condition is important, new or in good condition. And then also air conditioning, which is super important in the summer and the lift, especially if you're going to live in a second, third or fourth or whatever, because in Barcelona we have before the first floor, we have the entresuelo. So if you live in the first floor, you actually will be living in the second floor. So just for you to know. So this is the first, the, the cheapest, decent, flat that I found in the A Champla neighborhood which is 750 euros per month 70 square meters for 
one person or a couple it has just been renovated but what you need to pay attention here is on the windows because look at these windows these are vintage old style beautiful but these windows are not good for cold weather conditions and then we have this apartment but it is interior so what does it mean that you won't get any sunlight during the whole day and again the windows these old windows not good for the winter then we have this flight 861 euros per month 64 square meters exterior but even though it is exterior it only has one window so yeah it's well renovated it has heating but won't get so much light and then this penthouse which is 2450 euros 85 square meters exterior seventh floor that's why you have these incredible views depending on where you come from uh, it may seem expensive or cheap for you this one has amazing views and a lot of sunlight and this is not very common in Barcelona so I see why the price is that high and it's also furnished and beautiful so yeah that's another option in case you can afford it and finally travelers let's say the normal fee nowadays for a good apartment which is above 1000 euros this is a fifth floor exterior with a lot of sunlight renovated beautiful great windows heating air conditioning etc so i think this one could be a really good choice and it has a wonderful balcony so i like it so now this is the cheapest option in the old city of Barcelona but actually I wanted you to see what it's like to live in a flat interior with no sunlight at all and check this one which is 690 euros this one is exterior but in the old city the streets are very narrow so you literally will be watching your neighborhood the whole day <laughs> Also, I wanted to show you in El Pobleno, another beautiful neighborhood in Barcelona, for 1,300 euros, we get a beautiful apartment plus a swimming pool. So in the summer, it could be good. So yeah, if we want to search for rooms, instead of choosing homes, we put rooms, price I won't put anything. We can choose if we are a male or a female, if smoking is allowed or not in the house, which is really important for me. Pets, if we want to be in a pet friendly apartment or not, the type of pet, the um, available date, and if you want to share the flat with one person, two, three or more and couples allowed minors etc and again the air conditioning and the lift and the terrace yeah so this is the cheapest decent room i found in barcelona in sant antoni neighborhood which is cheaper in the champla and then this one is 320 as you can see tiny private bedrooms then we have this one for 400 in the old city, but smoking is allowed. Okay, that's why the price. Then this one as well, 400, smoking allowed. 450, this one is really good for non-smokers. And this one, 500 in the old city. So the more we pay, the, the bigger the room and you have a desk and the houses are more beautiful. Like this one, 525 euros, non-smokers. The house is actually really nice. It has a beautiful balcony, a lot of sunlight. And then 600, you have your own balcony, your desk. The room is spacious and then 625 you have again your own balcony the house is really well decorated you have a dressing room chest for you and this one 650 euros in the old city of barcelona the room is beautiful and the house is beautiful as well and travelers we not only have flats and rooms in barcelona we also have the co-livings have you heard of them they are a beautiful way of sharing a flat in barcelona so i want to show you two of them two that are actually close to my house so let's go and check them out
Hey travelers, hope you have enjoyed my video rental prices in Barcelona. Remember, if you think this information would be useful for other travelers coming to the city, please like my video and of course subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss cool things about Barcelona. And see you next week, travelers. Bye bye.